viewers to break it down for you what exactly when we're talking about this story there's been a particular term that has been mentioned quite a, a lot of times which is automatic message switching system what exactly does this mean it means it's a digital backbone that instantly routes flight plans weather alerts and ATC messages to keep thousands of daily flights safe and on schedule so that is the system where we're talking about the technical snag in which 800 flights have been reportedly been cancelled and delayed uh, have been because of this particular system and it acts as a digital post office for air traffic control so it's a very pertinent role in terms of uh, the fact that it uh, uh, provides a digital uh, and it helps the air traffic control room as well and flight plans notams weather alerts and departure arrival messages so that's what exactly what it moves when we're talking about the uh, automatic message switching system and how exactly does this work uh, it instantly routes thousands of messages between airlines AT ATC towers which is the air traffic control and global centers as well that's what exactly how it it works this is the issue that has been happening with the air traffic control and the AMSS system as well and the auto feeds data to controller screens which makes for safe and on time takeoffs and landing so exactly why it matters this is exactly the reason why it matters and why exactly this uh, these delays are facing the, this uh, particular issues and in terms of the tech involved it uh, involves and it uses secure IP networks with redundant services for 24-7 uptime. So that exactly is how, uh, how the, the tech involved that we're talking about is. And when we're talking about what if it fails, the failure forces manual ATC processing triggering widespread delays. So this is the reason that we are seeing and Delhi airport has been facing at least 800 flights where that we have been seeing uh, that uh, it has been missing and uh, let's actually take a question from Brian Thomas. Brian, uh, when we're talking about this particular issue and you have also been in, at the IGI airport as well and you've been reporting uh, constantly from there, what exactly is the situation over there in terms of the passengers facing issues and uh, and when we're talking about th this is exactly uh, when uh, several passengers have been posting that they are facing issues. What exactly is the update Stop. right now? Has it improved, Brian? Uh, well, yes, uh, the Delhi police has given an advisory to the fact that, yes, the situation has become normal. The MSS that was facing major problems uh, that was happening yesterday where over 800 flights were delayed. Our flight was also one of the flights that was delayed because we were coming from Patna to uh, Delhi and clearly we were uh, on a Spice Jet SG729, our flight was also severely delayed. Apart from that, there were many other flights, Indigo, Air India, Spice Jet and India Express, there were many such flights that was delayed, one to two hours, there were many flights that were hovering around in the sky because of the delays in the parking mechanism. But here also when we are showing you, we are at the IJ airport and now uh, yesterday itself in the night, Delhi airport has issued an advisory stating that the technical issue affecting the um, EMSS, uh, which is the automatic uh, switching machine, uh, with switching system, that suppose the air traffic controls flight planning progress is being resolved post that even Indigo has given a statement that the, TV, uh, the ATC teams are working on priority to fully restore systems and they are also trying their best to stabilize uh, operations. Uh, even the airline added that the situation is uh, is returning to normal within the next few hours and now yes as we are speaking the situation has returned back to normal people are flying so there is no issue has happened but yesterday there were major delays where 800 more than rather 800 flights were delayed severely there were many flights and the delay were uh, showing more than one hour of delays one to two hours of delay that people were facing but yes the situation is coming back to normal at this very point of time we are showing you yes all right, Brian, thanks so much for joining us on the telecast. I also have with me Captain Surjit Panesar, aviation expert, joining us on the telecast. Captain uh, Surjit Panesar, good morning to you. And as far as we're tracking, uh, currently the system is gradually progressing uh, and it has been improving. Uh, but yesterday we saw at least 800 flights that were delayed. Uh, in terms of your assessment and your expertise, what exactly is the cause behind this uh, technical snag and how long does it take for it to uh, recover and start functioning in a normal manner? 
it's a very grave and sad situation that so many flights were delayed. I have to say something. When, whenever any person buys any instrument or system to install in ATC and all that, well, they are not aware of the glitches that could happen. They don't have an expert to remove the glitches immediately. Why they have to wait a whole day? Imagine the uh, flight of a passenger who has to go to America or further country, getting connection from Europe and all that. What happened to his flight? You are putting them into big trouble. You expecting 2,000 more flights next year. How are they going to control? They should be aware of the glitches that could happen in the system. Why airport, uh, uh, airport authority of India should not be charged heated for this? Who has purchased the system and they do not know the glitches can this and people to repair those glitches immediately? They have to keep on waiting. After 12 hours or 14 hours, they have repaired the system. Why they could not do it earlier? They have purchased the system with so much heavy cost and all that. They are not aware of the glitches in the system. They, they should be prepared to set right everything immediately without causing any inconvenience to anybody. You purchase this instrument with heavy cost and all that. Maybe people have made commission in that also. But they are not worried about what could happen. Every system when you purchase or install, they are always given the pros and cons of the system. If, if this goes bad, you do this. If this goes bad, you do this thing. Where are those experts? They don't have experts to set the system right. It's a matter of grave concern in this country. With so much of advancement in IT and all that, we are still facing this problem. Yeah. What will happen in future? <laughs> Why airport authority should not come out and give heavy compensation to all the passengers? Yeah. They should be held responsible for all this. They are not here to enjoy the jobs and all that, get heavy salaries and all that. It's a matter of grave concern. And Captain Surjit Pane, sir, uh, is there any alternative for something like this? Because what we have seen is on social media uploads as well, and when netizens reacted, that there were long queues that were formed near boarding gates as hundreds of passengers waited for updates. And uh, the, the, with controllers that were preparing the flights, where they were um, taking it manually, which was a time-consuming process that also further slowed down operations. So do you think that there is a alternative so for something like this as you've already stated that uh, this is a huge issue if something like this uh, doesn't work it is a huge issue and it leads to a lot of an inconvenience for the passengers yes let me tell you ma'am there's a solution for everything in this world but there's no solution for two things one is the death or jo mukar jai now the question is when you purchase such a heavy equipment like expensive equipment you may say the company has not told you about the glitches or the failure in the system, how to come out of that. Every time you buy an aircraft or any new system, the company is bound to tell you the checklist. If this happened, do this. If this happened, this do. You go to a hospital when the operation is going on, they put their generators on. So if the electricity goes, the operation lights do not go out. You may say they are no experts. They are no, when they sign this... Uh, uh, system to buy this heavy cost equipment. They are not experts to repair it. They have to take 12 or 14 hours to cause inconvenience to a passenger at the airport. What happens when you buy more aircraft next year? Are they going to control it? It is the total responsibility of Airport Authority of India and they should pay heavy compensation to all the passengers for the delay in the flights. There oh, is okay. this, every system has a uh, thing to repair it immediately. Or they don't have any experts. They have not been trained for all those things. These glitches do happen in any system. And the manufacturer do tell you, if they give you a checklist for this thing happened, you do this thing immediately. Where are those experts? Are they, they have not got trained people to repair the system. It's a very sad situation happening in this country. All right, Captain Surjit Panesar, thank you so much for joining us on the telecast and providing